The Moon's orbit is roughly 384,000 kilometers from Earth. Its orbit is not perfectly circular, so it varies a bit from moment to moment. But, all things considered, the Moon is remarkably close to Earth, at least by the standards of astronomical objects. But have you ever wondered what the moons and planets of the other worlds in our star system would look like if they were as close to Earth as the Moon? This is not a question of great scientific inquiry, but it is a fun one, so I thought in this episode we'd take a look at it. You're seeing a beautiful day of low-flying cumulus clouds over the landscape of Nova Scotia, forced to the horizon with a field of view of about 45 degrees. And in that field of view, on the top right, you see the Moon, at 384,000 kilometers away, with a diameter of only 3,475 kilometers, it's tiny. Next up, to compare and contrast, is Titan, the largest moon of Saturn and the second largest moon in the solar system. But, with a diameter of 5,150 kilometers, while we can see it's larger, it's still tiny. Next up is Ganymede, the largest moon of Jupiter and also the largest moon in the solar system. It still occupies only a dot in the corner of the sky. But you can see that it is, in contrast, just a bit larger than Titan. Now, just for a fun comparison and contrast, I'm going to put up Earth. And while Earth, from a perspective of 384,000 kilometers away, is still tiny, our world is the largest terrestrial planet and visibly dwarfs all the moons that we have looked at. Now we'll take a look at Mercury. You can see here that Mercury is not much larger than the large moons of our solar system. And in fact, while denser than Ganymede, it has a smaller diameter by several hundred kilometers. And now, we can contrast Mercury with the next planets after it, Venus. In terms of composition and diameter, Venus is almost our world's twin. At 12,104 kilometers in diameter, it is only 600 kilometers smaller than our Earth. I'll put Earth up again so that you can compare it to Venus for contrast. Amazing Venus and Earth are so different despite our apparent similarities. Next is Mars, and we can see Mars as a small world. At 6,779 kilometers in diameter, it is only 1,500 kilometers larger in diameter than Ganymede. But now, everything changes and those little dots in the corner of the solar system become vast. For now, we encounter the titans of the solar system, the first and greatest of which is Jupiter. With a colossal diameter of 139,820 kilometers. At 116,460 kilometers diameter, Saturn is significantly smaller than Jupiter. But its vast and beautiful ring system makes it much more impressive, appearing to take up a great deal more of the night sky. After Saturn is the next gas giant, Uranus, at 50,724 kilometers in diameter. It is visibly and obviously significantly smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, but this gas giant with its dark blues is unworldly in its beauty, as is its neighboring planet, Neptune, now visible. A little smaller, Neptune has a diameter of 49,244 kilometers and shares the same ethereal, beautiful blues. And just behind the gas giants is the former planet, Pluto, actually a dual planet system with its moon Charon. At 2,376 kilometers in diameter, Pluto is significantly smaller than Earth's moon, hence why the tiny ice world was removed from the roster of planets. And finally, here are all the planets for your consideration. They are laid out side by side for size comparison and presented as if they were the same distance away as our own moon. It's an amazing, varied, and beautiful solar system we have. Thank you for venturing into the cosmos with me in this episode of Sky Story. Sky Story is part of the Understory Network, a collection of programs devoted to the study of the natural world. In MicroStory, we study the invisible world of the very small. In Understory, we examine natural history and issues of conservation. And in Sky Story, we look beyond Earth and explore the cosmos. There will be many more episodes, so to keep abreast, please take a moment to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button.